not in the best um, best of moods tonight, and I think you know why. At least, um, at least one of you knows why. Probably more. I um, drive a Volkswagen Polo car. And quite often, well, often often I will park it in the car park behind Talk Radio Towers. That's where I've parked it this evening. Although, in the last few weeks, I must admit, I have um, perhaps been a little bit slack and have um, been parking it on the street just because it's easier to faff. You have to phone up reception to get them to let you in and there's not always space there and it can be, um, it can be a real pain. So I've been parking it on the street and it's it's not it's nothing fancy you say it's a volkswagen polo it's got some dinks it's got some dents it's got some scratches um one of the uh the the, the front the, the, the passenger wing has got um a, a, a really big dent in it is it you know it's, uh, um and it's um i think it's three or four, four years old i think so it's, uh, yeah i'm not a big one for cars you know i want a car that will get me from A to B. I don't care what it looks like. I bought a new, I bought a brand new car once, and as I drove it away, I thought, "What is a waste of money?" I once had a very lovely Audi, twenty-one thousand pounds that cost me, and I bought that six months after I'd stopped working on telly. That was, I mean, those were crazy days. But this is a, this is a, a functional Volkswagen Polo. It's it's full of crisp packets and. Um, uh, uh, sweet wrappers, and at the moment it's full of um, uh, Scott Walker and Loudon Wainwright the third CDs. Beautiful, um, and it's filthy. It's, I mean, we have not had it cleaned for ages. But I, it's the car I use for work. It's the car I use um, to get me to and from work, and to, to you know get me home. It's the car I used to drive my children around. My children were in that car. Um, today I took them to school this morning, got, got about three and a half hours sleep, was up bright and early, took them to school, um, and then I had to, um, go somewhere and pick up a suit and, and then go and do a little bit of work, and then I had to go back home and pick up, pick both of them up, went and picked up the youngest at 4.30, I picked up the eldest at 5.45, he had a, an after school club, I can't quite remember what it was. So it's the car that um, I use every day, um, except when I'm using my uh, scooter, of course, um, and it's the car that I drive my children around. It's the only car I've got. Oh, it's the only car I've got. My wife has a car. I'm not insured on that. She's insured on mine. And, and, and that's just the way it is, and it's the car um, that I use a lot. So at least one of you... I'm looking at you on Periscope and on Facebook.com forward slash Ian Lee. At least one of you knows why perhaps I'm not in the best of moods. And um, because of the actions of one person, I'm afraid that the rest of you are going to have to suffer. Now, if this one person grows a pair of balls and phones up, and admits what they've done, and apologises, do you know what? I'll be the bigger man, I'll accept that apology, and we'll move on. And it's fine, and we'll do the show, and we'll have some fun. I've got some great stuff. Um, tonight, there's a, the, there's a the, the thing in the paper about sound effects being used on um, the David Attenborough show, which I mentioned the other day. They got that from me. There's a great thing in the mirror. You'll love this, because we have so much fun with this. There's a brilliant interview with Nicky Knowles. Um, in the mirror, two page, um, two page spread. Um, and there's, there's, there's all kinds of stuff. So we've got some fun stuff planned. But. We're not gonna do the fun stuff. Until the, um, and the, you can hear Catherine tapping away there. I've asked her tr- to transcribe this, um, uh, uh, this portion of the show. Partly for legal reasons, partly for my own protection, um, but also she will just keep me in check if perhaps I get too angry. She knows what's going on. I showed her. Showed it to her. One of you has done something inappropriate and disrespectful um, to my car. And I'm not going to say what it is, because it's obscene. Um... 
But until that person calls in and admits what you've done, we're not doing the fun show that we had planned. 0344 499 1000 is the telephone number. You can, of course, Skype Late Night Alternative. So we'll just wait. We're just going to wait for the person, or people, persons, people, people, yeah. And we're going to wait for the person or the people responsible for an obscenity, a sexual obscenity, to phone in, man up, be brave, and say, yes, Ian, it was me. I did this. And I'm sorry. And that's it. And we're done. We can move on. We can all have a bit of fun um, talking about Nicky Knowles. We might even play uh, an eye for an eye. But that's not happening until the person or people responsible for this um, uh, uh, this atrocity... No, atrocity is a big word. I retract that. This, um, this obscenity. Well, if my kids had seen it, it would, be, it would have been an atrocity. We're not going to carry on with the show until you, who did it, phones up, admits you did it, and apologise. Yes. Alan, what do you know about this? This is new to me, Ian. Is it, Alan? Yeah, yeah this is the first I've heard of it. Is it really? Yeah. You sure about that, buddy? Definitely, because I'm all the way in Birmingham. And I've never been to London today. And never well, been, never. Never. You just told me just now. Never been to London today? Yeah. Are you right or left-handed, Alan? I'm right-handed, Cat. That's what I thought you'd say. Here's the thing, Alan. Yeah? If you did it, listen, I can take a laugh. I can have a joke. I love a bit of fun, me. This wasn't funny, it was offensive. And had my kids seen it, um, it would have been um, completely inappropriate. But they, they can spell now. Yeah. I swear my name's Grave, it's not me. Ian. Well, Alan, you've just made a very, very bold statement there. And I hope for your Nana's grave's sake that you're telling the truth and you don't know what, you don't know what this is about. Well, it's definitely true. Interesting you didn't swear on anyone's life. Well, I've got no cross fingers on me or Well, anything. then, Alan, if you don't know anything about it, then I think we'll end this conversation here, then. But just make sure that you've got nothing you want to say. OK, thank you, Ian. Thank you, Alan. We're not carrying on with the show until the person responsible phones up and uh, admits what they did and apologises. And that's it. And that is it. I am not, a, I'm not a, a bitter man. I'm not a resentful man. That is it. That's all you've got to do. We can move on. We can have the fun. So, it's not my time you're wasting. I'm getting paid for this. I'm getting paid whether I do the fun stuff or I sit here in silence. I get paid, okay? It's the same, it's the same fee whether I turn in a cracking show or a not so cracking show it's your time you're wasting and i'm looking down the barrel of periscope now and i'm talking to you because i know you're listening and i know you're probably watching because sick idiots like you get off on this kind of thing well this ain't working it's not funny and i've got my suspicions as to who it is and if you don't call in and if you don't confess well, then we'll get the police involved, then. How would you like that? Yeah? Yeah? 0344 499 1000 is the telephone number. You can Skype Late Night Alternative. If you know anything about this, I suggest you pick up the phone and you give me a call. OK? Otherwise, we're going straight through till um, Paul Ross tomorrow.
I've got nowhere to be. I have. Hit the ads. Late night conversation. Wealth losing sleep over. The late night alternative with Ian Lee on Talk Radio. We have ways of making you talk. Oh three four 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 nine nine one thousand is the telephone number. This is the late night alternative with Ian Lee on Talk Radio. It's time to change. One in four of us will fight a mental health problem this year. Having a mate in your corner can make all the difference. Search Time to Change to find out more. We're supposed to be having Matt Haig on after 11 with our weekly Time to Change hour, but unless this gets sorted before then, we're going nowhere. 0344 499 1000. If you did it, if you uh, did it to my car, phone up, admit what you did and apologise. It's that simple. No one's calling in yet, so we wait. Take that. Uh, hello, caller. You're on the air. Oh, hello there, Ian. It's uh, Dan here. Hello, yeah, Dan. From Newcastle. Yes, Dan. Uh, I was in London uh, earlier yep, go on. the day, and uh, I've I seen a, a, a like a car that looks like a, a, a Vauxhall, like not a Vauxhall, a VW. Yep. Black one. And I had a way of defecated on the windshield. And I'd just like to say, I'm really sorry if it was your car. Um, well, that... It wasn't my car, but I'm not referring to someone defecating on the windscreen of my car. No, but you are a very, oh. you are a very sick man, Dan. Oh, really? So, well, I'm just, I'd like to apologise to uh, whoever okay, that's, that that's, was. OK, that's big of you, but that's not what I'm not referring to... Um, uh, uh, what I, th- I believe is called um, a Boston cream pie. I'm not referring to that yes. happening. But so, but thank I, you for that. I, I, I also made love to the exhaust as well. You know, you're just an idiot. That's not what I'm referring to. No one defecated on my car. Don't take that as a cue to do so. No. We'll carry on waiting. We all know it was you. Oh, I know exactly who it was. I know exactly you know who, who I'm it was. talking to. You can explain why mummy's still at work at seven o'clock in the morning to my children as they wait to be taken to school. Oh three four four, four nine nine one thousand. Well, they know the phone number. You know that. They know the phone number. I'm wasting everyone else's time. We've got all night. Here's the thing, right? It might just seem like a harmless bit of fun to you, 
Um, and I'm a 44-year-old man. I've seen it all. I've seen it all. And you've done a fair bit of it, haven't mm-hmm. you? But I've got kids, and they could have seen that. If I hadn't have spotted that, if I hadn't have spotted it, my kids could have seen that. Um, any child walking down the street during the school run could have seen it. So, um, all you got to do, it's really simple. Really simple. I love a laugh. I love a, I love a gag. I love a, 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 a practical joke. All of that stuff, brilliant. Okay, but I know the limit. And this went way beyond that limit. All you got to do, it really is simple. If it was you, pick up the telephone. 0344 499 1000. You can Skype. Late night alternative. Phone up. Tell me what you did. Apologise. We'll have some fun laughing at Nicky Knowles' new album. It's that simple. It really is that simple. And I will stay here all night if I have to. We'll cancel Matt Hague at 11 if we have to. Not a problem. We'll cancel the time to change hour. We'll cancel the fun. We'll cancel the light-hearted look through the newspapers. Um, I was going to um, uh, give away um, black and white film stars tonight. I was going to give them away. Charlie Chapman, Laurel and Hardy. I was going to give them away. I'm not going to do that unless I get an admission of guilt and an apology from the person or people's, people's, people that did it. 0344 499 1000. I mean, we had so much nice stuff planned, but you had to go and spoil it. But you can make it right. Here's your chance. Here's the thing. We'll be angrier if we... Because we know who did it. Be ang- that's the thing that's making us angry, isn't it, Ian? The fact that we know who did it and we know you, you're out there listening to this now and not stepping up. And you're spoiling it for everyone. If you can live with that, then... Uh, but it's even worse than we thought. Line one, you're on the wireless. Hello. Um, I would just like to apologise um, on behalf of uh, of everybody uh, who, who was involved in this matter um, for the drawing on the side of your car. Your car is very dirty, I must say, first of all. Um, and uh, I'd just like to apologise for uh, drawing a penai and writing the word P.I. underneath. Now we're getting somewhere. Yeah. Now I we're getting somewhere. Know. Was it you that did it? It, it? it wasn't me exactly. Right. But I was with the party that were there. Well, that's not... OK, well, you've described the I, act, I, so I know that you were certainly there. You've described the fact that a P.I. Yeah. was drawn <laughs> and underneath someone had written P.I. But if, if, if you do, weren't do the person... What's your name, caller? My name's Alfred. Right, Alfred. If you weren't the person that did it, then I'm afraid your apology yeah. is meaningless. You're 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 that you're that that kid at school when the whole school I'm is kept in during assembly. Uh, after assembly, you're the kid who puts his hand up and says it was you, even though it wasn't, just to save the whole school. That won't work for me. Yeah. It didn't work with my teachers, and it won't work with me, buddy. No. Well, I can see if Bob. No, 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 not Bobby. I can see if the person will call. And you go and do that, days. Alfred. You go and see if the person oh, who drew a peni yeah. in the... Di- Shut up a minute. You see if you could... The person who drew a peni in the dirt on my rear yeah. windscreen and wrote underneath it, peni, you see if that person P-Nye. will call up and apologise. Because if they don't, Alfred, then I'm afraid the yeah. whole show is going to be this. OK, I'll... I'll Thanks I'll, for your I'll call, Alfred. Here's the situation. We all want to go out and play. We all want to. That's the, that's the only thing we want at the end of a long day. But don't be admitting guilt for things you haven't done. We know who's done it, and we want to hear from that person. Or persons. <clears throat> so we wait. We wait.
my kids had seen that, that would be abuse. What's that, Daddy? That's what they'd say, wouldn't they? Yeah. And I have to say, it's a, it's a, it's a, a peni. What's a peni, Daddy? It's a penis that's spurting oh. semen. And then that's a whole other conversation that we're not ready to have yet, are we? No, I'm not ready to have my kids yet. No, not at all. If you did it, phone up, meet you did it, say you're sorry, we can go on. That's it. That is it. You know the number, but I'm going to say it. Oh three four 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 nine nine one. Don't pander to them, Kath. Let them let them sit <sighs> in the silence. Just to do the right thing. Let them sit in the silence. To a break. The Late Night Alternative with Ian Lee on Talk Radio. We'll get you talking. Um, yep, this is The Late Night Alternative with me, Ian Lee, on Talk Radio. With Time to Change, one in four of us will fight a mental health problem this year. Having a mate in your corner can make all the difference. Search Time to Change to find out more. And having a mate in your corner in this instance could make all the difference. Hello. Hello, caller. Hello. I'm really sorry. I had a glitter pen and I wrote Nick Knowles is a P word and a, a drawing of a P word. I, I've, I, I have not got. I've not got an issue with the Nick Knowles graffiti. Oh. It's the oh. issue with the person who drew a peni and wrote peni oh. underneath it. Was that you? Oh. No, I wrote. Thank you for your call. Not got a problem with the Nicky Knowles stuff. That's a bit of fun bants. Someone sent me a very, very funny story. Um, online story about a man wearing a T-shirt with a word that you guys would all understand if you've been listening to my show for a while. So I'd love to share that story with you. <laughs> I'm not going to. Hello, caller. Oh, hello there, Ian. It's, uh, it's Bobby here. Um, I was speaking, uh, well, my friend has just called me Alfred. Um, and he mentioned that you have uh, became aware of the penai that we, uh, we, 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 we drew on the side of your car uh, in the dirt, because your car's very, very dirty. Don't, make, don't, um, try, and, don't try and make this um, into, into it yeah, being my fault. Yeah. Don't oh, victim God, blame me, buddy. Yeah. Okay, well, I ju I'm just gonna, you know, I, I'm a fan of your show, and uh, I want to end this madness. I would just like to say, from the bottom of my heart, uh, I am very, very sorry, and uh, I shan't be doing that again. I must say. Where was? Where's? I do apologise. I, I listen, Bobby. I love a yeah. laugh. I love a laugh. I love to laugh. Well, I do. I yeah, I love to laugh. Um, <laughs> I just fail to see where the joke is in this one, mate. Um, we were basically uh, looking, uh, we, we, it wasn't a targeted attack per se, uh, we were just looking to have a bit of a creative uh, fun on a dirty car. Um, yours happened to be there at the time, I wasn't aware until now that it was your car, so don't feel that it's a personalised attack. Uh, we just decided to draw a penai. Uh, and write the word penai underneath it. 
and and all right, just in case you weren't aware of what the droid. I know what I know what a peni looks, looks like, mate. I know what a peni looks like. I've seen them. Yes. Um, now, would you accept my apology? Can I ask why it took you thirty-four minutes to phone in, mate? Well. I have been well. I have been listening for the last ten because Al- Alfred uh, did make me aware of this uh, of this radio uh, program, and I, I just thought it was quite amusing uh, listening uh, to, to, to you, uh, sort of, uh, you know, wanting me to call up per se, and uh, and I thought I would. I, I thought I'd, I'd put everybody out of their uh, out of their misery. Bobby, I'm a, I, I'm, a, the, the I'm a big man, and I'm a gracious man, and I um, accept your I, humble... I, I, I drew you please shut up. Well, please so. shut up. I accept okay. your humble apology. Bear in mind, what you did was sexual graffiti. But My children could have seen that. I saw it. And I could have been arrested yes. and awarded six points on my licence for displaying that. But you could have also just put a few eyeballs on the said Pinai and said it was some sort of creative fun dragon. Make sure you don't do it again to my car or anybody else's car, well, all right, Bobby? I, I will certainly not do it to anybody's car. Thank you for your call, Bobby. Thank you. There we go. That's that. That's sorted. We're done. Let's get on with the fun. Tales of mystery and imagination on the radio show that does things differently. Dolly Parton, I listen to a record that they long. The Late Night Alternative with Ian Lee. I'm a nutjob, but not that kind of nutjob. On Talk Radio. Honest to God, it's the new Breaking Bad. Oh, no.